Why halacha? As a Jew, I embrace halacha for many reasons. But the most all-encompassing reason, I think, is that as a Jew, there's something fundamental to my identity, to my psyche, maybe even to my soul, which only finds wholesomeness when it is true to itself. There's something fundamentally fundamental about the Jewish condition, which is expressed through communal affiliation and also through, through halachic observance, historical consciousness. Um, Judaism is not a superficial label. It's something that goes quite deep. And, and it needs to be expressed in the context of, of my behavior. So when I behave Jewish, I feel more true to myself. I mean, I grew up secular. One of the reasons I, I embrace observance is I know what it's like to be a secular Jew. There's a certain, um, I didn't mean that disparagingly, but there's a certain, and I'm only speaking from my own experience, but there was a certain, um, how shall I put it, uh, sp split. There's a certain split that I, 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 I'm affiliated, but then here I'm eating pork. You know, I'm a Jew, I'm eating. Th th there's a certain inconsistency. By observing um, halacha, I feel a certain inner peace through consistency. There was um, a reform rabbi who once came to the Rebbe famously, this is a famous story that's told, that he, he said to your, he said to the Rebbe, you know, your chassidim looks so peaceful, there's something, they, they're in touch with themselves, what is it? So, and, and the Rebbe replied that when you, when you observe the halachot, when you observe uh, in, to a good degree, I mean none of us do it perfectly, but when, when you embrace significantly the observance in your life, you don't feel split anymore. It, it heals a certain brokenness inside you. That's the most compelling thing I find. Because mm -hmm. so I, I mean, I feel a certain historical consciousness that's been around so long. It really has been around uh, a, a long time. I met a few months ago, I met Mehmet Oz at a luncheon. And he said he'd just been to Egypt. And he, he's a Muslim, but he's respectful of the Jewish people. He said he'd just been to Egypt and he saw the pyramids. And he said it, it struck him, it this was a meeting, a Jewish luncheon. And he said that it just struck him that, you know, if Judaism's been around that long, <laughs> there were Jews putting on fill in there, then, then we must be doing something right. So I think there's a tremendous power in, in the historical consciousness. If I can encourage my children uh, to, to be observant in Judaism, then it's continuing that tremendous chain. And it's also the legacy of the Sinaitic experience, which was the greatest spiritual revelation in, in, in history. So uh, that, that's also compelling, also the historical argument, the wholeness argument. Uh, but you were mentioning before that by being rich, very observant when you go out into the world, you're more grounded. That's also true, but I don't think that's the whole reason for it. I think that would be too superficial. To That's not enough reason to actually do it. It might be a perk.